that looks like a band here that lies over top is the pectoantibrachialis. The one right above it, right here, is clavodeltoid. And then as we move down past the pectoantibrachialis, this muscle here is pectoralis major. And pectoralis major actually goes under the pectoantibrachialis. So you can see this is all pecto pectoralis major. <laughs> Below pectoralis major is pectoralis minor. And then one more muscle. Pull it out here. This is zippy humoralis. Okay, so pectoantibrachialis, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, and zippy humoralis. So those are the superficial muscles in the chest. As we look deeper, get this so you can see it better. If you see these muscles here that sort of come out in the fan shape, those are serratus ventralis. And as we go, f there's two deep muscles that you need to know in the chest. This one here is called the scalenus. And then up above the scalenus, you can see this one that sort of comes over diagonally. That's called the transversus castor. Okay, so those are the only two deep muscles way up here in the chest, scalenus and transversus castor. Okay. <laughs> and since we're up in this region, we'll just look, take a look at the upper arm as well. So again, this was pecto antibrachialis coming across. The one right below pecto antibrachialis, the superficial muscle here in the upper arm, is called the epitrochlearis. And if we lift up the ep epitrochlearis, the muscle underneath it is the triceps brachii, okay. long head. Lifting up the pecto antibrachialis, this big tubular muscle right here, is the biceps brachii. That's pretty much it up in the upper arm.